Wrestling, Double A's third ranked Cass of Manorville. On the road at Class A's 11th ranked Zombrota Mazeppa. We start at 113 pounds with ZM's Michael Majerus. He's ranked second at 113. Taking on Preston Hitterdahl, and Majerus would win with a pin in the first period. At a buck 32, KM's Logan Vaughn is ranked fourth in Double A, taking on Johnny Poulin from ZM. There's Vaughn getting a takedown as he won by decision. Next at 160, KM's Carlos Rufo, ranked number one, and he's the defending state champ, taking on Tanner uh, Manselman. Rufo racked up the points here and route to a tech fall. Then at 170, KM's Kale uh, Wania is now ranked fourth. He wrestled against uh, ZM's Cody Anderson. Watch this move from Wania for the pin. That's a heck of a move. Then at 182, KM's Bennett Berge, ranked 12th nationally, number one in the state. Here he is against ZM's Gabe Tupper. Here's Berge with the takedown as he won by major decision. KM would win the duel 49-24 is the final. Key Section 1A seating tilt tonight at the Ice Palace in Casson. Dodge County hosting Faribault Wildcats on a five-game win streak. Good test tonight. Look at this. D.C. freshman Brody Lamb plays the puck off the boards. There he goes, little toe drag of the puck. Somehow it ends up in the back of the net for a 1-0 lead. How did he do that? Then it's Lamb again. He'll work his way into shooting position. Finds a little room on that stick side. He puts the puck away. Hattie for Lamb tonight, even more important. Dodge County picks up a key seeding win with the 5-3 victory over the Falcons. Big nine puck, the Oatana Huskies are contending for a conference championship. They were in Rochester tonight to face the JM Rockets. 11 seconds into the game, the Huskies would strike. Zach Kubacek gets a clean look, and he's going to finish backhand for the 1-0 lead. Here he is. They'd make it 2-0 shortly after that. Colin Peterson looks to score. He's denied Dom Valento there to clean up for the 2-0 lead. JM was on the power play for five minutes, and they'd cash in. Sean Sutton working his way around the Huskies. He'll score, crashing the net. It's a 2-1 hockey game. Owatonna answered. Watch in front. It's Kubacek with the puck, and he's going to work a little stick magic for the 3-1 lead. Huskies improved to 13-3 on the year. Rockets suffer their sixth straight loss. 10-1 is the final. Both the JM Rockets and Mayo Spartans very much in contention for the Big Nine girls basketball title. Rockets lost by one back on December 3rd at Mayo. JM's Lily Meister with the offensive rebound. And she's going to get the put back. Tight first half. Mayo, little high post offense here. Anna Miller, she's left open from 12 feet out, and she'll pop the shot for two. Nothing but net. Rockets would answer. Meister's shot is blocked by Miller, but sophomore Jenna Boyson is there to clean up, collecting two points down low. And then here comes the Spartans. Lindsay Haiti with the great pass in the paint to Jess Kunkel, who goes up strong, gets the bucket plus the whistle as Mayo comes out on top tonight by the 53-42 final. Lastly to swimming, Mayo traveling across town to take on JM. We'll start with the 200 medley relay. And coming in first with a time of 140.22 was John Marshall's A team. They were followed by Mayo's top squad, who finished more than three seconds behind. Next event was the 200 freestyle. Coming in first was JM's Aiden Shue. But unfortunately, we couldn't get a time because the scoreboard went out. That's when Mr. Paulos headed up to Mazeppa. JM beat Mayo 93 to 85. Houston's mm -hmm. Mickle Shuddy had 29 points tonight. He reached 1,000 for his career. Chatfield's Reed Johnson reached 1,000 on Tuesday night. And Goodhue wrestler Maddox O'Reilly got his 100th win tonight. We have sports for, for you tomorrow night. Yes, we do. Yep. We'll wrap it up in a moment.